Hello, welcome to Spitfire Mods. This video is our video for um, checking your PS3 FAT system for a faulty power supply. Uh, this power supply is a bad power supply. It was in a customer's unit. It caused the unit to relapse, and one of the one of the causes for a relapse is the expansion and contraction of the board after a successful repair. And we've noticed a lot of these FAT units, the A and the EO1 units, have been coming in with a ZSSR power supply. And um, right now, this power supply is so hot you can barely barely touch it and it's actually been off for a little while so it's somewhat roasty right now and the reason being is it has a ZSSR power supply in it and the ZSSR power supply is going to be labeled right there um, the model number is going to say model ZSSR uh, 539IA I believe it is an I not a one but uh, that's that's a bad power supply, and the reason this power supply is bad is because it, it puts out an uh, overabundant amount of wattage for your unit. Um, it, they actually don't have the wattage rating listed on the power supply. I'm not sure why that is, but what we're going to do is we're going to replace that with a 226 power supply. This is a, a used 226 power supply. Um, they're functionally about the same. I'm going to check and see if the weight's any different. Okay, so the weight of the ZSSR is about a, a quarter pound or less heavier than the, than the 226. And the reason um, we're going to switch this unit is the 226 unit does not uh, overdraw power, so it draws a adequate amount of power. Now the reason we, the way we tested this ZSSR to see if it's faulty is we left we ran the unit for about five minutes with the top cover off, and after five minutes the power supply was already roasting so hot that you could barely touch it. And that's how you test uh, your ZSSR to see if it's really kicking out too much heat. And what will happen is when you put the cover and everything on there, the fan cools the bottom half of the unit, not really the top half. And what happens is this top half becomes so hot that every, all your components in the upper half of the shell um, become so hot that they, they can take some damage. And eventually that causes the board's expansion and contraction. Uh, another problem with the A01 and th steps you would want to take to cool it would be swapping the power supply but also um, also installing a fan mod which will amplify the fans speed the A and the EO1 units fan runs extremely slow at idle so even though when you put on a new thermal compound what's going to happen is the core temperature of the GPU is going to be very cool but the fan will go so slow that the entire cabinet will just heat up uh, really hot and it's going to basically take all the core heat and move it out into the outer edge of the metal but not outside of the cabinet so amplifying the fan is very important. Um, our fan mod will actually make an A or an EO1 repair last a lot longer and make it more durable based on the fact that it eliminates that expansion and contraction. So getting the right power supply in there, um, installing a fan mod on an A or an EO1 unit, um, it also works on the other units, but the A and the EO1 um, fan is the one that has the biggest problem and uh, that's going to eliminate heat and then you can also check your fan to see if it's a 15 blade or a 19 blade fan. And a 19 blade fan moves a little bit more air. Um, not as not as important as the power supply and the fan mod but because um, with the fan mod it takes a 15 blade and pretty much gives it the juice it needs to to do the right job. So, But those two steps and then a fan um, could be changed out and that should eliminate all the expansion and contraction which should make your repair then uh, no longer get uh, hounded by that expansion and contraction issue that the solder has. Uh, even with a leaded reball, you would still have a high risk of failure with a power supply that's overheating in there, mainly because the cooling power is on the opposite side of the board. So that's a short video on checking out your PS3, making sure that it has a, a proper power supply. Uh, the 226 is the recommended change, although there's also a 231 which is the GO1 model, which puts out enough power to run an A or an EO1. It's a direct swap, and it puts out even less wattage. These units actually run cool to the touch. They will never put out enough juice, typically, to make your unit overheat. Um, but the 226 has just the right amount of power to keep that unit uh, running correctly, especially if you put in any aftermarket hard drives or anything that's going to pull any extra juice through the USB ports or anything else. Anyway, that's a short video on checking out your PS3 FAT um, cooling abilities. And uh, after you have modified everything, your fan should be nice and quiet still. Uh, the fan mod amplifies the fan's 
rotational speed by a little bit, but it still retains the, the ability to run faster when it's hot so that it can cool itself down. And thanks for watching. This is our video on checking your unit's heating and uh, cooling capabilities and checking if it has a bad power supply. Thanks.